Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a August plan with me and I haven't done one of these in so freaking long that you will see me struggle to really make it decorative and even honestly I really didn't like the spread at all and in general how it turned out but I am using this gorgeous kit from Sweet Bella XO. I think the lavender August theme is really really pretty and it kind of matched the spread that I did last week which I thought was kind of cool cool. Um, however, I tried to do something a little bit different this time and I did not include any washi tape which is really different from how I usually do my normal monthly. And actually, in fact, I don't think I've done a monthly in quite some time now so I am again super super rusty and I just couldn't get things to look the way I wanted to so in the end I was kind of frustrated with the spread but Hopefully you guys will think otherwise. I just honestly tried to do how Gathered Plan, aka Rachel on YouTube, makes her plan with me. She's really good at adding all these really decorative aspects to her spread and I think it's so stunning. But somehow when I mock it up, I feel like there's just a little bit too much white space. I might need to go out and pick up some more decorative stickers. But for now, I think that this is just what it'll end up being. Also something that kind of annoyed me was because of the way I print and cut my own printables, it didn't actually fit very well so as you guys can see I had to trim the top just a little bit. So I believe next year I'm going with the Caress Press printables or printed monthly and yearly and weekly like the entire thing. I believe they are supposed to come out with it in mid-November so I am super super stoked. So going right into the plan with me, I actually marked the July birthday for Anna. I believe her birthday was on the 30th, so I just put it there since I didn't get a chance to do it in my previous July spread, which was honestly felt like ages ago because it really was. It was before I even had an aura style to begin with. Since it's been a while since I've done a August or just a monthly spread in general, I decided today I'm just going to talk through kind of how I do my monthly and why this version of monthly works for me versus all of the other versions and maybe my adventure in planning in general. So essentially I started out in 2016, 2017. I think I said this in like how I joined the planning community. Um, so this whole episode of the talkative plan with me is going to be all about the monthly. I never had a use for a monthly spread even when I was in college just because of the fact that things change so often. I found that planning in a weekly spread was just so much more effective for me personally. So I never took a quick look at a monthly. I never needed a monthly quick look. If anything, I just have one of those giant calendar where it fits the full 12 month on paint and then I use a highlighter or a colored pen and I just mark out the dates that I need to remember such as the finals week, exam week or anything like that. So for me, monthlies just never really made sense to me or I never really knew how to use it just because I don't have any futuristic plans. That sounds so terrible to say but I didn't have or I still don't plan so far in advance but not advanced enough that I can't do it in just a yearly overview if that makes sense. So I've never really used a monthly and then when I got into planning, even decorative planning, I originally started as prepping for the incoming weeks and if you look back at some of my older plan with me videos they are all not memory spreads they are actually spreads that kind of like for the future and kind of um what i'm planning to do for the next week and i found that that just wasn't really realistic because again if you ever go to the next week's spread and then i usually do a flip through of the previous week half of the stuff doesn't really get marked off or checked off because I didn't do them or my plans changed. So I figured with the transition, I just started doing memory keeping, especially since I found that it was really unusable for me because I don't plan in a weekly format. I'm much more of a daily planner. So that's when the bullet journal kind of came in and I would just write down a list of things I needed to do. And for a very, very long time, I was a bullet journaler. Every day I would just have a list of things I need to do and that was it. And that's kind of like how I used to use my bullet journal and that's how I used to plan and also how I remember all the details that happened to do the memory keeping spreads. 
Nowadays, I've mentioned it multiple times, but I am using Agent Boon Textual. The reason for that is because the layout and the spread is very, very much similar to what I would set up my weekly or daily to be, which is kind of like an hourly thing with a bunch of checklists or be able to do a checklist of things and just mark it off. And that would work really, really well for me. So going back to the monthly, because usually if you go into August, first of all, I don't have that many things to plan for in advance. I don't do anything that is like, I know that two weeks from now I'm going to do X, Y, and Z or doctor's appointment or anything like that. For me, I could just jot it down in the week in pencil. So in my Jinwoo texture, if I have a doctor's appointment two weeks from now, I just go in there and I just jot it down and it works for me. So I don't have to bother flipping to the monthly pages and then once I hit that date, I just have it there already. And yeah, that's why I've just never really used the monthly spread. But then I did watch Mandy Plans believe that's her YouTube channel and she did really gorgeous monthly spreads and that's kind of how I got into this decorative monthly planning. It kind of gave me inspiration on how to kind of keep track of the things that's going on in my life and then a really quick glimpse on the highlights or something key that happened that day that I wanted to note. So I thought that was really really cool and yeah that's kind of how my monthly came to be in this format. I know a couple of people like to do it more of a preparation thing but I think it's really cool to kind of look back and be able to pinpoint exactly what day what happens even though technically nowadays I do a memory keeping spread so I'll always be able to do that but this is a really nice quick overview and yeah this is kind of like the story of how I got into this type of memory monthly planning. And with that, we are nearing the end of the spread. I hope you all enjoyed this kind of quick video. I promise the next couple of videos, I will have a more or less a talking point really thought out. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. Here is all of the leftover stickers that I have from this kit. I think I used most of it along with a little wiggle. And I will see you all on Sunday for a plan with me. Bye.